all week. It's been about the total destruction from Hurricane Helene in our, on our beautiful homeland, from Florida through the Carolinas, Georgia into Tennessee, the total loss of homes, family treasures, beautiful giant trees, and so many lives, now over 200 have been lost. Our family visited Asheville, North Carolina and the Biltmore Estate uh, several years ago. Our mountain resort was in Boone, North Carolina, which was a surprise to us because we had not, that was not the place that we knew we were going. Booth, Booth, Boone, Carolina is where Franklin Graham has his headquarters and that's where Samaritan's Purse, which you see on the news so much this week, and Operation Christmas Child are there in Boone, North Carolina. Um, um, our family was invited to go and visit the Booth um, Operation Christmas Child headquarters, which we enjoyed immensely. Um, and as the TV showed the total loss of the area, I was so sad. And I thought, my heart went out to those people. And even as I saw it this morning, it's so sad. And as I saw the picture of the, there in North Carolina, of all those that were, were baptized and were saved, I thought, how many of those might be a part of that 200 that lost their lives? We never know what God has in plan. But as I thought about this, I thought, you know, I'm glad for good old Texas and hot and dry San Angelo. We complain about the weather, but we have little fear that <laughs> Mother Nature is going to take it away from us in an hour's time. I read a story in Guidepost a few years ago and how God works in the lives of his children. The lady grew up in Midland, Texas. Her parents were di very dysfunctional, so when she married, she moved away to a distant state, never wanted to see Texas again. She shook the dust of Midland from her feet. But fate had other plans. Her husband was transferred down south in his job. And guess where their new home was? Midland, Texas. She was determined to find the silver lining in this plan that God had in her new life. She saw her children as they were riding their bikes with the neighborhood kids. She and her husband found joy in sharing time with friends. She saw life in the eye, through the eyes of love. Her teenage daughter said, you know, some people live in beautiful mountains. Some enjoy big trees. Our aunt even lives by the ocean, but we just live in the dirt. I had to smile as I remembered my prayer as we moved back um, to Midland that I wanted to find joy. I hoped that she would change her mind as she grew older and found God's blessings. I have a plaque in my house that says, and I've lived by it for many years, find contentment within yourself and you will not need to look for it elsewhere. Contentment starts within our hearts. God puts us in certain places. I have another little plaque that says, bloom where you are planted. If God puts us in a certain place, look for that silver lining as this lady did. God's words tells us as we walk with Jesus, we will find inner joy and peace that makes every day a gift from God. So enjoy it. God's given you a great gift and be blessed.